Okay, so if you're tuning in, um, I'm Vince Stone. I'm joined by Jordan Sveng. Mm-hmm. I'm here. Hello. Uh, we're we're going to show you how we do our um, open shot uh, reviews. You know, you notice there's a couple of transitions. We have open shot currently open. It is the stable version, 1.43. But why are you not using the alpha? Because it's a piece of shit and it doesn't work yet. So, sit back, mm-hmm. relax, and oh, hang on. Why are you using the KDE thing? Because it spite noped on me once and cost me about six hours of work. Are we done? Of course. All right. So, first thing, uh, let's make some extra tracks. I like about seven tracks right there. You hit that plus button. Then we're going to need some files. Now, this is kind of up to everyone, but, you know, this is how we make it. You know, this is an instructional video for Jordan. We've got our Patreons. And CCV Dark. And... LM and U Madness. So we're going to add that in there. Then in our downloads folder, we are looking for the actual gameplay, which should be Flame. Was it? F- yeah, Flame Break. Flame Break? Yep. Okay. I thought we. Uh, didn't we release. Uh, we haven't Everlight? released it standalone yet. Oh, uh, okay. So now that we have our gameplay video, we are going to go over to Crunchy, and I think it's on. Yep, 189, and that will be chairs and chairs output wave, which is the one I've already massaged to make the audio all right. Yeah. So now after you have everything loaded, do yourself a favor. Go to save project as. Since we're recorded in 720p at 30 FIPS, we're going to set that. We're going to go to other, and I'm just going to create a folder on the crunch drive, which is the abuse SSD drive. Flame B. I'm just going to open that, and then we're just going to name the project. Flame Break. Cool. Following me so far? Yep. All right. Let's get started. So, we wanted to start off with our little Patreons, because our Patreons are awesome. They help make the show possible. You know, we're, we're going to see that little thing, but it's going to fade in and fade in fast. Fade in and out fast, so we're going to do that. That's just a right click. Mm-hmm. Got that. We're going to put a little music over the top. You know, our little intro bit. Yeah. We kind of want that, you know, just a bit loud, but just a bit over your intro. So we're going to cut it right here, just a second off. If you noticed uh, my timer seconds right here, it's uh, about eight seconds. Okay. So, let's remove this clip here. And we're going to make that fade in and out fast as well. Then we're going to go to Properties. And for Audio, we're going to take that down to about 50%. From 100? From 100. So, when we start it, it'll fade in. It'll have the audio. Step two, we're going to get our audio track and our video track. Now, a lot of people have asked, it's like, how do you sync the audio? Because, you know, we record the audio with um, the Audacity, right? Sure. And, well, one thing we do is with the video track, we also record a right channel MP3 version. And we record our audio on a left channel through Audacity. So that makes syncing it extremely easy. Now, you won't be able to hear this at home. Actually, Jordan won't even be able to hear it at all. But I'm going to... Yeah, there are some very good-looking people in there. I wouldn't mind. And what you're listening for is basically just, you know, echo. Because if a track is a little bit out of sync... Yeah, there are some very good-looking people in there. I would. Yeah, it's really easy to do. I mean, they're always within, you know, 0.5, 0.9 seconds of each other, right? Mm-hmm. But once you have that synced, we're going to... Look here, we got the clipboard. Scroll into this, and three, and two, and okay, here's Jordan, so I'm gonna listen for Jordan. Ooh. He's about to talk, so I'll back that up just a bit, then we're gonna trim. We're gonna remove those clips. Now an important thing to remember to do is mute the audio on the MKV, because remember, that has audio too. And mm-hmm. we don't want to waste all that duplicating audio when we're rendering out the video. 
So you can see I'm coming back over here, and just as it's fading out, I'm going to have you coming in. Mm -hmm. So it's fading out, you're coming in, you're talking, you're talking, oh god, you're still talking, but for the produced version, when I cut to that screen, that is, okay, right here is where we need to start dealing with what Pedro normally records is Flame Break. Sure. So we're going to drop so, that in on top. And this is going to be on the same layer as the Patreon. No. Or, or can it or can it be on its own layer? Well, now, here's the thing I'm looking at. I'm waiting for the game to get started because Pe Pedro likes to start uh, at the very beginning. Which is fine, but nobody wants to watch it from the very beginning. You know, you kind of want some action in there, right? That's the first thing people are going to be seeing, so we're just... Scrubbing around. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to cut that. I'm going to remove that clip. I'm going to go back over to pointer. We're going to drag that over here. And we're going to try to set that up. To come in, that'll be good. So I'm going to trim it here. Then I'm going to hide the video. You're talking, you're talking, you're talking, you're talking, you're talking, you're talking. Still talking. Okay, then we get to the check position. So, as soon as we get here, we're going to cut it. And we're going to back it up just a bit. Hopefully make a second cut. Nope, didn't want to do that. Okay. Now we have two cuts. Now the point of this, now we have the rest of this. This is going to be down here from now on. So, this first cut, first thing you need to remember is to make sure unhide the video. Make sure it's not hidden. Sure. Right? So we're going to mm -hmm. animate that from left to center. Left to center. Uh huh. Then we're going to make sure to re-enable the video. We don't need the audio. There's no audio. He doesn't record audio. But So that re-enables the video from that point, or... What do you mean? Because you uh, you had that video off, you had it hidden, but right, oh, right, you right. want to line it up for yeah, the. You see uh, the eyeball. Yeah. You want to make make sure it's visible. Now you see where I made these little cuts. Yep. Where you can't see the eyeball if you right click on it. If it's checked, like if I come over here and I check on this, it says the video. Still oh, hidden. I, see, I see. So it's not. It's so not, I want to unhide the, the video. It, it, it's not video and totem. It's just for that one segment. Right. 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 Okay. Okay. Got it. So we had this coming in from left to center, so we want to make this one come out from... We're just going to animate it from center to right. So, when we're looking at the video, it will just go shoo, 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 and cut back out to the chairs. Sure. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And we talk about the chairs, we got a categories of doom... Now, normally, right when you cut to me is where I'll make my cut, and we're on the chair's video track. Sure. So I'm going to go back to our trim tool, make another small cut. Mm -hmm. Trim that. So we're going to do a transition here. So in this in little, section. this little, and that's, that's going to be like a fraction of a second. Yeah, just eyeball it. Sure. So we go to properties, then we're going to go to layout. Start a clip's fine. What we need to do is go to end a clip, and we're going to change some values. So what we're going to be looking at is putting it into that bottom right-hand corner. So those values are going to be as so. 30, 30, 70, 72, mm -hmm. with an alpha. Of 85, just so it doesn't completely obstruct the video that we're going to put under it. Sure. I'm going to click apply. Now, that's only for that transition segment, because it will change it from 100% full screen, and it'll shrink it down to the little corner. But then we also have to do what's after that and change these values. So they have to be the same, so it maintains that transition. Mm-hmm. 
So we're going to change the start and end point of this clip to 30, 30, 70, 72. with an alpha of 85. Now this is why I took flame break from up top to down below, because when we shrink that, we need something behind it. Sure. So I'm going to put that, you see the little clip here. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that's in front of that clip and we're going to make it visible. And again, we don't need audio, but there is no audio. It's just habit that I do that. Mm -hmm. So when we hit play, jumps all the way back to the very fucking beginning for no reason. Mm -hmm. But when it does the transition, shoop to burp. Mm -hmm. Then we're just rock and roll from here. And then it's just like this to the end of the uh, review? Almost. Normally Up until, I, I guess, the final thoughts section. Yeah? Right, uh, I pretty much give you the last word, and that's when I bring it back to full screen so I'll let you know it's normally Pedro he's doing his thing he's doing his thing then it kind of cuts to you so when it cuts to you we're going to make that cut then we're going to make that second cut then we're going to move that transition back to what it originally was so we'll go to properties Layout, so start a clip, 100, 100, and 0, 0, 100. And I did that wrong. So, let's try that again. Right-click, Properties, Layout. Start a clip is fine. The end of clip, because you need to make the transition back to 100% full screen. Yep. Sure. Then we do 100, 100, and 0, 0, 100, and we'll apply. Mm -hmm. Then on the rest of this main clip, we have to change it back to 100, 100, 0, 100. Mm -hmm. And the end of the clip. So 100, 100, 0, 0, 100. I might have done this more than once. Mm -hmm. But that should give us the transition back to Stuburp. And important to remember, which I might have forgotten to do more than once, is as soon as you're back at that 100% transition, you can nix the rest of that video. Mm -hmm. And remove the clip. So then on this... Like this, this game had bits that I liked, and it had bits that I didn't like. I, it, it, it. And we just listen, you know, because I can set a clock, because you'll say something, you'll give a pause, then you'll go. And coming up next. Mm -hmm. So that's when you cut the video and the audio. Remove these clips. Now, the audio, we never cut the audio. So this is our audio track. We're going to just make that fade in and out fast. But the video, just for this segment, just fade out fast. So... It'll kind of come out dark. Then we're going to throw Cocaine Voltron in here, and we're going to tell him to fade in fast. And to let people know that it's about to end, we'll throw the new madness back in there, just haphazardly somewhere, fade in and fade out fast. But we're going to adjust the audio level to that. Just two. So the audio, when that's starting to fade out, you'll just barely hear it in the background. And it'll come up to LGC Weekly, but we're not done. Mm -hmm. Because since we've cut the video so many times, we have to make sure the first part of this video, the chairs, you right-click on that and fade in fast. So we're coming in from this transition. So it's a nice, smooth transition like that. And then we get the chairs... Slides in, it does its thing, and stirp, stirp, and that's it. All right. Now all you have to do is just export it. You know, go to web, uh, YouTube HD. I just said it because I'm going to change this later. I just 
that HD 2999 high, then I go to advanced, I immediately go to profile since we recorded 30. And our video settings are fine by default. Audio, we'll cover this later, how we break it down from the mezzanine file. But 256, one channel, because we're mono AAC. Then we export the video. All right. End of story.